Welcome everyone. Welcome to Hindi University. Uh, it's me, Ashutosh, and with me we have Jennifer. Good morning. Uh, and this is the first class for our Hindi writing. Um, the setup is same. Uh, initially, we'll be starting with the lecture, and towards the end, we'll open it up for discussion. Uh, this class will take about eight sessions. That's my target. That in eight sessions, uh, you should be able to, you know, read and write Devanagari script. Um, it's a very important topic, and rather than getting into the script directly, I thought it would be a good idea to sort of like you know look at the evolution of Devanagari script and learn about the script you know before we really see what the script mm -hmm. is, right? So what do you think? Yeah, I think that's it's a little bit of a history. I think that's interesting. Yeah, and in in the meanwhile, while we are going to the history, if you have any comments to make or if you see some analogy with your native language. You know, feel please. You know, feel free to chime in, and I think we'll be a good discussion then. So I'm going to share a, a slide with you. So, okay, I hope you can see the slide deck. You know, if you have any questions or if you cannot see it, you know, write down on the comments, and we'll make sure that you know you should be able to you know see everything. <coughs> Yes, okay. okay, so let's start with, you know, in, the, in this particular section, we'll be starting with vowels, right? And in the next section, we'll be starting with the consonants in Hindi. Mm -hmm. So just to give you a little bit idea about the Hindi script, the Hindi script is also known as Devanagari. Uh, it is derived from Nagari, you know. Um, there are many language patterns which are followed by, you know, the languages across the, the globe. Devanagari is written from left to right, you know, as is the most of the languages in the world, Hindi, English, Spanish, and a lot of other international languages are written from left to right. There are some languages which are written from right to left as well, such as Arabic, Hebrew, Urdu, Old Turkish, and uh, Old Italian are also, and that's what I learned from Wikipedia. Uh, and then there are certain languages which are written in a vertical manner, like such as like traditional Chinese and traditional Mongolian. Uh, nowadays, I heard that you know it's pretty much written from left to right, but I think it's good to know that how you know our language writing system has evolved. Right? Um, just make sure you mute yourself. You know, um, we'll open it up for discussion towards the end. Um, so if you think your microphone is turned on, maybe you can just like. Uh, Take a quick note on it or mute, mute it. Um, a little bit more about the Hindi script. Hindi script follows Abu Diga writing system. What it means is like you know each component that we have in, in Hindi writing, there is an inherent vowel sound in it, right? So for example, if I'm talking about uh, me, right, English I, right? Mm -hmm. Me has an inherent sound like you know e in it, mm -hmm. right? Or give me any consonant like ma, let's say. Right? It has a sound in it, right? Or let's say ko, or post position ko. Right. It has o sound in it, which is also our vowel, mm -hmm. right? So that's the idea about following Abu Diga writing system. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the other interesting property of Hindi or Devanagari is that it's a descendant of Brahmi, uh, you know, system. And Brahmi is actually an ancestor of of all the Southern Asian writing system. <clears throat> and if you see on the screen, you will see some like letters written. And those are like coming from the Brahmi writing system. As you can see, the vowels like a, a, e, e, u, u, um, a, i, and o, those are exactly the same like vowel system which are sort of like, you know, are derived within the Devanagari script. And uh, as I mentioned, a lot of Southern Asian writing systems, they follow the same, you know, um, pattern, including Japanese. If you look at the Japanese uh, vowel system, they will also have the similar, you know, sequence. Okay. <clears throat> Just to give you a little bit of historical, you know, perspective. So Brahmi was about 500, you know, uh, 500 years ago before, like, you know, Christ, mm -hmm. right? And then now, if you look at the Devanagari, you know it has evolved. Brahmi got evolved into Gupta, and then which got evolved into Nagari, and then Devanagari became the official or more like a stable system around 
uh, 10 to uh, 12th century you know after uh, after christ right and now you can see that you know how those are you know sort of the brahmi is the mother of all the southern asian languages as you can see in this particular graph as well mm -hmm. so i thought it was a good idea to sort of like yeah. you know show the evolution of the mm -hmm. you know the the language right because a lot of time we get fixated that you know r is the purest language mm -hmm. or r is the you know right. the most an authentic one, but yeah. usually language system they usually evolve. Yeah. Right. So it, I think to say that it is the purest is sort of like mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. And again, like if you look at this particular graph, you'll see that on the top you have a Brahmi letter, right? Which got and you see the evolution of how the letter got changed from Brahmi into the other language patterns. And in the bottom you will see this letter na as your Devanagari letter. Right. So this also gives us a like a evolutionary perspective of the writing mm -hmm. system. So I thought it would be a good idea, you know, to sort of show, you know, the background of you know Devanagari yeah. before we really start yeah. saying the yeah. uh, the letters, right? So now <clears throat> uh, we'll directly come into the the vowel part of the Devanagari system. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, these are all the vowels used in the Devanagari script, right? Uh, and um, uh, uh, these are all the vowels used in the Nagari script and I'll go to each of the vowel one by one and as we are going through it we'll give some examples also for each of them. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so first one is known as, uh, I repeat that with me, the sound, uh, uh, right, uh, as in alarm, mm -hmm. uh, as in Alaska, right, mm -hmm. uh, as in ago, or another America alone, right? All have a sound in it. Mm -hmm. On the chat box, you know, feel free to write down, you know, any other word that you see has a sound in it. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, I'll quickly stop the screen sharing so that way I can see what you guys are writing on the. So one comment is there is a lag between the video and the audio. Um, okay, but we'll try to make sure that I'll go a little slowly so that everybody can follow it. So right now we're talking about the first letter in Dev Nagri. The vowel is known as a. Uh, and we usually write it as a, uh, like you know, this is how you write it. And as we mentioned in the example, um, a uh, as in America, right? When you say America, there is a uh sound in it. Mm -hmm. When you say Alaska, there is an a uh sound in it as well. Um, can you think of any other words that has a uh sound in it? And you know, feel free to write down on the chat box. There is no, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy. <laughs> we'll give uh, you know, a few more seconds mm -hmm. to see if people would like to write uh, down. Anar, that's very good. Anar is, you know that? No, I don't know. Pomegranate. Oh, good. So Anar is, again, like our theme is. Yeah, fruits and vegetables. Yeah. That's so perfect. if you can think of anything, uh -huh. feel free to share. So Anar also has a sound in mm -hmm. it. Okay. So that's a. Uh, Follow with me. Uh, okay. Um, as now the next topic is, and more if people are interested, feel free to write again. Um, and I'll, I'll break it down as how to write a, what is the like a step by step way to, yeah. to write a. The first thing you do is like you make a, a semi circle, mm -hmm. and then you make another semi circle, yeah. and then is a you know one pipe and then vertical pipe, yeah. and then that's it. So that's a. I used to think of it as the number three okay. and half of an H with a, with a line on top as I was learning it. Yeah, so anything, which anything that works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, like you know, you make number three as Jennifer mentioned, and then half of H, and then like a bar on top. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a. Now, another important point is that you know. Uh, 
like I mentioned, each consonant has a vowel sound inherent in it. Mm -hmm. so, right? so let's say hypothetically give me any consonant. K. K, right? So let's say hypothetically K is let's say written as X. Mm -hmm. Let's say any letter. Right? When you add a in it, and there's a again, mm -hmm. the sound will be K, which is by default it has K sound in it. So this will be K. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about consonant M, and we'll learn about consonant as we go on in the later lectures. Mm -hmm. But think of anything, anything, you know, any any word or any like you know, sorry, consonant. Mm -hmm. If you put A in it, you know, it will remain as it is. There's no change in the base form of the consonant. Right. Clear? So uh, far, so good. Yeah. Can you think of more examples of a? Of, uh? Yeah, uh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to think. What are some of the incorrect examples? Well, I was going to say an incorrect example, I think, is um, um, which is part of our fruits and vegetables, right? yeah, which is mango, but that's yeah. ah, that's ah, right? right? What about apple? Like when you say, when you learn English, you say a ah, ah, as an apple. Yeah. What kind of sound do you have in apple? It's more like this one, right? No, no. Apple. A. Mm. Right, that's a, not a. Oh, I see. You see, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. apple is a, a, apple. Mm -hmm. and, and my pronunciation is a little different, but right, right. Like as a native. In New Jersey, it's apple. Apple, oh, right? Okay. It's a, right? Yeah. Yeah. What other incorrect examples can you think of? So we have about. About, mm -hmm. right? That's a very good example. Mm -hmm. About. About is. There is an a sound in it, mm -hmm. right? Around. Mm -hmm. right? Did you say ago? Ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. Around is another one mm -hmm. where you have a sound in it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go too fast. I'm going to take mm -hmm. like a pause just yeah. to make sure that if there is any confusion around it, mm -hmm. right? We can discuss like all the negative examples as well. Yeah. Right? So what other other things that comes to your mind? Uh, Think of negative examples because those are the best way to learn anything. Yeah. Right? Um, you did you, you did Alaska, right? Alaska, I did. Any other country also you can think of that's fine. Austria. Austria. Okay, very good. <laughs> so let's write down and see what kind of sound it has in it. And again, like if you're native, probably you will pronounce it differently. Mm -hmm. But the Austria. But the cons consensus is there is mm -hmm. slowly Aust or, Austria, which oh. is different than a. Uh, mm -hmm. right? Even in the end, mm -hmm. you have Austri, ah, yeah. Yeah. It's ah, not a. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, let's think of more scenarios. Mm -hmm. um, let's say, let me try to think of a different sound. What about abbreviate? Abbreviate, that's very good, right? A, mm -hmm. abbreviate. Mm -hmm. Clearly, a yeah. sound in it. Yeah. Right. What about table? Mm, that's harder. Let's have with the audience. Mm. What kind of sound do you have? Is it a? Yes or no? You can write down on the chat box. Is it? Does it give you a sound or a different sound? No. Okay. No. Long no. Long. Okay. So that's a a a sound in it. Mm. Right. Table right. a. Right. So good, right? I mean, so as long as we are clear on it, you know, we can move to the next letter, which is so that's the first vowel, and hopefully it is clear. Mm -hmm. um, as we are going through the lecture, you know, uh, the final assignment of this class would be that you uh, you sort of like you know uh, just quickly let me make sure that I'm clear. You have not muted your page or so. Okay. Okay, so so far we have covered uh mm -hmm. right. The next one would be the next alphabet or next ball is R. R. Say that with me. Ah. Ah. Right. <laughs> so the way you write it is like you know you write number three mm -hmm. and then half H. Mm -hmm. Exactly as you wrote uh, mm -hmm. along with that you have one more pipe. Mm -hmm. Right? That's ah. 
another very important vowel, right? Uh, on another, some of the examples you can think of is arm, right? Arm is mango. Yeah. There's a sound in it. Uh, Arj. 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 Yeah. Very good. Arj is today. Today. Again, it, these are Hindi words, but you know it's good that you will learn vocabulary as well. Mm -hmm. Arj is today. <coughs> Anything else you can think of, you can always write down on the chat box. Um, what are some of the other? Hindi or English? A anything will do. What about, well, in New Jersey for aunt, we say aunt. I don't know, A-U-N-T. A-U-N-T. Okay. How do you say that? Um, would you be like this? Uh, well, there will be dot on it, basically. Oh, OK. So, so I mean, that's complicated. There will be a, but there will be half n mm -hmm. along with that. Gotcha. Yeah. But do that, you know, as we go to the end section. <clears throat> aloo. Very good, right? So we have one more example which is the vegetable aloo. Aloo is potatoes. Do that? Yep, sticking with our food theme. Yeah. Right? yeah. So there's a sound there. Aloo. Let's see if we can discuss more examples of a sound. In my slides, I have more examples, but you know, I want to see if you guys can think of more. Arm. Very much good. Yeah. Arm. So even though it's one A when you write it, but there's an R sound there. Arm. Um, any other country also, if you can think of, that's completely fine as well. Um, can think of? A country. Country. Anything, actually. The idea is to get ourselves familiarized with the with the sound over and over. I again. was going to say the Amish. Amish, okay, very good. <laughs> but that's not a country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there is a sound in Amish. Uh, Agnes asked, it, which is Africa the sound? Africa. Mm -hmm. So let's discuss it. Mm -hmm. So when you say Africa, your pronunciation may be different. Like I'm, I'm talking as as an Indian English, and you. But New, regardless, New Jersey English. Right? Yeah. Regardless, you will say a, uh, uh, mm -hmm. which is different than a uh, or a. Uh, mm -hmm. right? So that will be an incorrect example of a. Uh. But it, in a way, it's good that we discussed it. Mm -hmm. What other sound do you think of? So we have artist. <clears throat> artist, very good. Let's see. How do you say a? Uh, artist. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, sound. In it. Right? So that's like a right example of R. Mm -hmm. In a way, it's good if you give negative examples because yeah. that helps us test the, you know, our assumption of the sound, right? I mean, so artist, art, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, what are the people? Father, very good. Mm -hmm. Let's test it out. Huh. Father, right? There's a sound in it. Now, for maybe a consonant, we don't know yet, right? We don't know whether for is a consonant or not. But if assuming that for is a consonant, then you put a in it, it'll be far, right? What other? <laughs> I think we had one other that I missed. What I said. Arabic. Oh, let's, Arabic. Let's yeah. test it out. I hope you can see it. Okay. How will you say it? I say a, 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 right, which is different than a, mm -hmm. right. So even though, in, so that, that's the whole point, right? Even though it may sound as like you know, mm -hmm. but that's an incorrect example of a. When we go over a, mm -hmm. then it's like a more appropriate right. example, yeah. right? Good, right. So I think we covered a lot more examples of a sound also. So we did a. Remember it, we did a uh so far, mm -hmm. and the next sound is a. Uh. Uh, let me write it down the next part of a. Uh. So, again, like you know, let's say you have any base consonant mm -hmm. and you add a uh on it, a uh sound on it. It will become your consonant plus a pipe. That's how you will write it, mm -hmm. right? 
um, I'll give an example. Right? I mean, we have not done any consonant here, but the easiest would be that say the that's one of the consonant in Hindi. Mm -hmm. But when you put a in it, it will become. So let's say the sound is r. Mm -hmm. When you put a in it, it will become ra. Ra. So the sound will be ra. And the way you write it, you just write the consonant plus you know the one of the bytes ra. And I'll cover it as we go along in the consonant. But right now, I just want to illustrate the point. Yeah. Um, I'll take one more example here, just in case if people couldn't follow the first one. So let's take one another example called um, take any simple consonant. Let's say. So that's one consonant. Right? I mean, you don't need to know that, but let's say you write it as so. But when you put R in it, which is R vowel, so so sound become sa sa, and again sa has a sound of R in it in the background. And the way you write sa is you just write the base. Consonant, mm -hmm. but in addition to that, there will be a vertical mm -hmm. pipe here, which coming from R, yeah. right? So when you are reading Devanagari, or if you are reading any Devanagari script or any billboard or anything like that, you see uh, mm -hmm. along with any consonant, if you see a vertical mm -hmm. bar in it, you should know that there is R in it in the background, mm -hmm. right? Um, good, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hopefully everybody is following it. If you have any questions, feel free to you know, uh, write it down and we'll cover it. Now, I want to show the same thing with the slides. I think it's good. <laughs> good. Feedback is important, right? So keep keep writing the you know your yes and no, and mm -hmm. that's when we'll know whether it's covered or not. So as I said, um, R is pretty straightforward. You know, R sound is there in artist car. There's a R sound in it in car, Mars, right? Father, Art, Garden, all of them have mm -hmm. R sound in it. Yeah. And as I mentioned, if X is one of your consonant, mm -hmm. if you put R in it, you know, X will become X plus, so there is a one vertical pipe in it, mm -hmm. right? That's R sound. Uh, next important vowel is known as E. And I'll go over the slide and then we'll switch to the whiteboard so that we can have a more interactive session. So think of right now, forget about how we write E. Just focus on the sound. It's it's E. Right? Think of it as like one E in English, right? English. Let's say. Right? Mm -hmm. Um uh, it, a small it when you write. There is mm -hmm. E sound in it. Yeah. Right. In in has E sound in it. Mm -hmm. In sit. A soft E. Mm -hmm. Right? Sit. Italy has E sound mm -hmm. in it. Right? What other words can you think of? Igloo. Uh, igloo. Igloo. Yeah. igloo. Igloo has E sound in it. Right. Ah. And now this E sound is different than feet. When you say, right. how do you say feet? In feet. Feet. Yeah. There's a little bit long E in it. Mm -hmm. Right? So how about if we simplify it, like a soft E versus a, a, a long E, or a short E versus a long E. So that's an important distinction to make here. Yeah. Right. Um, let's open it up for, so some of the examples that we have is it, in, versus feet. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see my screen here. So we are discussing between a soft E versus a, a long E. Oh, and we have some suggestions already. Mm -hmm. We have uh, pig and fit. Okay, very good. So let's test it out. Mm -hmm. When you say pig, is it a soft E or long E? There's an E sound in it, right? I say it's 
short. Short. Yeah. Right. Big. And the next one is? We had fit. Fit. So this can be a good comparison. Fit versus feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. That is a long one, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one we have not done it yet. Right now we're just doing the soft E. Mm -hmm. um, indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Let's test it out. So you have. So in we have already done. Right. Mm -hmm. So anything which is like yeah. indeed is also by default. Like you know, there'll be E sound in it. We also had holy, like the holiday. Holiday? Yeah, ho holy. Like, holy. Yeah. Holy. Okay. Hmm. Let's test it out that one as well. Just in case, in case people don't know, that's oh. the holiday where. Yeah. Well, you would describe it better than I would. I was going to say where people. Festival of colors. Festival of colors, where yeah. you come home with nice colors on okay. your face. So if we talk about ho, mm -hmm. there's O sound in it. Yeah. Right. When you talk about holy e, mm -hmm. is it a soft e or? I think it's more like feet. It's a it's a long e. Long e. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will fall into our long e category, yeah. right? Good good example though, right? Yeah. And then we had kitab. Kitab. Hmm. Or a good word, which is which means book. Book, right? Let's test it out. How do you say kitab or kitab? I say kitab. Kitab. Mm -hmm. Soft e. Mm -hmm. If you're saying the same thing in with high e, right, or like a long e, it'll be kita. And a lot of time, you know, even I used to as a kid, I used to make a lot of mistakes. I still do, like with with these like pronunciation, and which is very natural, right? I mean, I, you know, so so it's like kita. When you say kita, it's a key e sound in it, soft e. Right? So those are examples of e, right? Are uh, vowel e. Now let's cover how we write e. Right? Maybe you can describe it better. You, you draw first. Like yeah. a, right, uh, These are just the tricks that I developed. For yeah, when I was so you can you can yeah. describe the tricks. I usually write like this. Uh -huh. E. Yeah. Now you can say that write s. I say s with a tail. S with a tail. Right? So you yeah. write an s. Yeah. And then you put like a, a tail in that, yeah. right? And that's an E. Right. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah, right? Yours is very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. At our new HU TV studio, they have people mowing the lawn, so we're just we're getting <laughs> used to our new home. <laughs> Hopefully the guy. Hopefully you can't hear it. <laughs> okay, so um. Now, how does it impact the sound of a of a consonant, right? So we discussed the consonant. Let's say again, r is one of our base consonant. Mm -hmm. R, right? When you add e, which is it will become re. 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 Mm -hmm. Even though you don't know how to write it, you can tell that it will become v. And the way you write it is like you write the base consonant. And then you put like a matra. We call it matra, right? You put a matra, which is like a you know, think of it as a waterfall <laughs> on this yeah. direction on the yeah. left hand side, right? V, mm -hmm. right? So the formula here is like you know, any consonant. Let's say X was my consonant, mm -hmm. and if I put an E sound in it, mm -hmm. you know, the consonant will be written now as X, mm -hmm. but it will have a waterfall on the other side. Right? Like mantra on the on the left hand side, mm -hmm. so it will become. If it is r, it's become v. If it is m, it's become me. Mm -hmm. it, if it is s, it becomes c. Mm -hmm. So when you say c, right? There is this c and there is s e a. Is there a different way you pronounce both of them, or is it the same thing? For me, it's the same. <laughs> same. Okay. I like to go to the c. Do you see out the window? Okay. For you. Um, it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Yeah, right. But I, I would write it as like a soft C. C yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. What's the saw? Saw is a different. There's mm -hmm. O sound in it. Right. We've not covered it yet. Right? Let's have. Let's see if we can have more examples of E. Or if it is clear, how do you write it? Mm -hmm. So, assignment here is like you know, 
assignment here is let's say um, if I have a, a consonant uh, and the sound is f, and if I add e in it, what will be the the target sound? Forget about how we write it. What will be the target sound? Mm -hmm. And write down in the in the comment section. All right. Okay. What else? Fee, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And if I write for like this, yeah. you know the target will be for, mm -hmm. and there is a matra coming on the left hand side. Fee, right? Fiction. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Good, right? So I think I hope it is getting clearer. Mm -hmm. uh, let's jump to the the fourth mm -hmm. vowel. Uh, initially, it will be a bit theoretical. And the more we you know make yeah. progress, once we are done with all the vowels, which I think in the next class, by next class we should be done by mm -hmm. all the vowels, yeah. uh, we will strengthen it quite a lot. And after that, it's all about recognizing the sound in each of the word. Mm -hmm. So even though regardless of whether you know the meaning of the word or not, yeah. you should be able to for each sentence, each or each word you you can you name it because there's an inherent vowel sound. Mm -hmm. You should be able to. Specifically or distinctly say whether you know which is the background vowel in that you know for each of the letters. Right. Right. So I think it will become more and more fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's small e. Let's do the next one, which is which is the fourth vowel called e. Mm -hmm. Think of it as a big brother, older brother of yours. Small e. <laughs> that's so right. Double e. Think of it as like a e. Mm -hmm. Right. So you have S with a tail, and not only in the bottom, but yes. also on the top. Right. Two tails. Yeah. Right. S with two tails. Two, two tails. Right. E. Right. Uh, some of the examples we already covered. E. Meat. Meat. Which one? M W -E T or yeah, M W -E T. Yeah. What about M E A T? I see those two words. Same. Same. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Feet, meat. Uh, what about tea? I like to drink your tea. Yeah, tea. Tea. Yeah, T E A. What about cheat? Cheat is also mm -hmm. there's a e sound in it, like a like a long e. Mm -hmm. Any other? Yeah, feel free to chime in with suggestions. The read, very good. Read, yeah. Read. And negative examples are good, so don't be afraid of writing anything. What about teeth? Huh? Teeth. 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 The, actually, the, the base sound is the same as teeth, teeth right. so it will be yeah. you know, same. And we have uh, feed. Rina says feed. 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 Yeah. That's correct. Feed also is the E sound. In it. Mm -hmm. Right? Any, any country name you can think of that is like, you know. Mm -hmm. A little geography lesson in the morning. Huh? A little geography in the morning. Now, <laughs> <laughs> mm. 50 states in America. There are 50 states in America. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, right. Do you, have, do you have one? Do you have an example like the pig? I'll think of it, but you know, it'll give me some time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. I'm a human being. Right? <laughs> I don't have to memorize everything. Argentina says Marcella. Okay, so that's she the same name, right? I mean, so and Argentina and Shirin. Yeah, I like that so one. So she there is a Shirin, right? Mm -hmm. So there is E sound in it. That's yeah. her name, okay? And we had Argentina and elephant were two examples that came up. Okay, so let's write it down and let's let's take it out. Mm -hmm. So Argentina, okay, it's a tricky one because I say it completely differently than uh -huh. I've seen other people, especially if it is a native South American, they say it very clearly. Yeah. Right? So mine is completely wrong. Mm, it's not wrong. <laughs> it's a variation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's see. I've seen people saying Argentina. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I you I grew up saying it Argentina. That's how I grew up saying it. I, but so now do you see E sound in it? The way I say it, no. So only oh, here. Yeah, I guess yeah. Argentina. Tina. Argentina. Tina. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what about teen? 
if it is similar as t yeah. if this t if if and this t the sound is similar then i would say yes mm -hmm. right but yeah. if the native speakers are saying it yeah. like with a soft e argentina or just t na like i mean i would not saying it like with a long e no. i would say yes mm -hmm. but like native speaker can correct us right. if they say it softly then mm -hmm. it will be uh, the other sound yeah But I think it's good. It's right? a good. That's a yeah. that's a good one. I mean, one one which was an elephant. Elephant. Right. So let's test out elephant one. So. And uh, as we go into the next class, we'll also learn how to ask a question mm -hmm. to the native speaker. Is it a long e versus a short e? Mm -hmm. Right. So that way you can clarify it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As opposed to thinking in your mind. Sure. Right. Same thing as like is it a masculine or a feminine, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll use the formula to figure out whether it's a long e or a short. Right? So now let's see elephant. So you have a, e, eli, fe, and an. Which is closer, a, no, eli. I think that's the closest. Eli. Okay, so let's. If you say Eli. So let's test it yeah. out. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. No. And no. There's an. There's an L sound in it, right? So that's no. So Eli. Right. So the sound and Bruce Lee is same or different? I think the way you're saying it, it sounds the same. Sound. Yeah. <laughs> If you see, yeah, it's not the way. Say it again. The way you say it. Eli. Yeah. Eli fans. Then these two sound the same. Eli. Elephant. How do you say? Do you say? I elephant? say elephant. Elephant. Yeah. Soft. So in which case it's a soft. Soft, right? Yeah. So, but Bruce Lee is different. Right. Bruce Lee is different. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this has like you know yeah. longer e. Right. Like elephant is our small, the right. short e. Right. Right. And even when you write elephant in Devanagari script, so which will be ili, ili. Mm. Now we have not done the matra here. But do you remember the matra we did for e? Mm -hmm. Which side, left hand side or right hand side? The one we just did the matra. Left hand side. So if I write l l or l and x, mm -hmm. it will be d. Right. Gotcha. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So good. Right. I mean, we are covering mm -hmm. decent number of examples. Right. <laughs> Now let's see how it changes the property of any consonant. Mm -hmm. So if my consonant, if I write it as x. Mm -hmm. And if I add e in it, mm -hmm. it will become x. And now the waterfall is on the right hand side, mm -hmm. right? And I usually draw waterfall like this. That's why I'm calling it waterfall, <laughs> uh -huh. right? But as a kid, if you are not sure, so I'll tell you a trick or oh, yeah. a question also, right? Yeah. So as a kid, it was very difficult for me to like you know figure out which side it should go, mm -hmm. right? So I used to just like. Right, like this, and I just put like the thing, <laughs> okay. and like this. And my teachers were like, "What is it? Uh -huh. Like, is it uh, short or long? Uh -huh. Like, it's both. You figure it out, <laughs> right? So, and most of the cases, like you know, it will be like a loophole, and you know, they will give me a credit for it. But you know, I mean, kids are kids, and I was like, okay, you know, I don't know which one they should go, which one, which way it should go. So I just like. Water you know, just, waterfall. You, you just draw it like in a way that they cannot read it. Right. right? Yeah. <laughs> so again, so this is our E. So uh, if we take example of elephant, the E sound in elephant, which is sounded like E mm -hmm. versus Lee, mm -hmm. Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. uh, supposedly, if I write L like this, which we haven't covered it, the E sound will make it like this. Right. The waterfall on the left hand side. If it is like a long e, you know your this is your base con consonant, mm -hmm. but it will become like this. Mm -hmm. right. Will you just pronounce the difference between these two on our term? Just so li versus li. Okay. Right. Yeah. So as of now, you don't have to know how to write the base consonant. There's a separate mm -hmm. in the in the middle covering it. But if you write this, replace it with x. Mm -hmm. Right. This is completely fine. Because right. we'll be covering it in the later class in any case. Right. Yeah. I hope we are going it at a modest pace, and I'm not rushing through it. <laughs> But if you do feel like we are sort of like rushing it, feel free to let me know. But we'll 
my my basic you know philosophy here is like we will try to repeat it many times. So even if you can't follow it for the first time, you know you'll be able to follow it in the next time. Okay, so, Kela, okay. <laughs> Pila and Kela, okay. So let then have two more examples here. Pila, Pila is yeah. yellow. Right? How how will you ask? Let's say if you didn't know the meaning. Pila ka matlab kya hai? Pila ka matlab kya hai? Pila ka matlab yellow hai. Uh, in fact, all of them. Nila. Mm -hmm. Nila is blue. blue. Okay. Right. <laughs> so this is blue. So they also have E sound in it. And then there's one more which Marcella mentioned. Kela. Mm -hmm. No. So now, okay, let's you have to tell me. If it is Kela, which sound do you have in it? Kela is in banana. Yeah. Oh, shorty. Short E. Mm -hmm. E. Mm. Say that again. I would say K. Oh no. No. K la. K. A, 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 A sound yeah. right? right? Yeah. So that's incorrect example, but it's good that you tested it. K la. Yeah. A, you 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 pause. You took a pause and you say K la. A, A sound mm -hmm. right? So that's an incorrect example, but you know why it's good mm -hmm. because we tested out of that. Right? Yeah. So let's quickly look to the slides to see if I have more examples on it, and then after that we will shift to our so this is the short E that we did, mm. and this is a revision of our long I, E. I like the feet. <laughs> <laughs> so feet, cheat, yeah. meat, all of them have long E in it. Mm -hmm. So next, um, I think it's 1043. So we'll just do two more mm -hmm. um, vowels, and then we'll open it up for discussion, and then we'll resume with the remaining vowels in the next class. Mm -hmm. right? So, as of now, don't worry about how to write, you know, U. Just focus on the sound. Put. Put. Soft U. Right. July. Mm -hmm. U sound in it. Bhutan. Mm -hmm. U. Right. right. What other sound can you think of has soft uh -huh. U in it? U. June. 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 No. No. <laughs> That's a lot. June. Yeah, you're right. That's okay. long. So. Okay. Let's open it up just a minute. So I don't know. Just focus oh, on the song. We, we have choose. Choose. Okay. Where do you see O in it? Chu. 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 Yeah. Chu. Yeah. Which makes me think that Chu. Foot. 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 We did foot. 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 Mm -hmm. foot. foot. You did. Yeah. What other sound do you see where it has O in it? So we have boot and pool. Pool. Pool and boot. Pool. Pool. What about what difference do you see versus pull versus pull? How do you say? Pull. Pull. Yeah. Pull. Pull. You see the difference, right? There's a soft O in it versus you have a long one, right? Pull. Mm -hmm. So this letter is this one. Right? Yeah, that's right. So this is. O will be uh, an example of long O. Yeah. And pull will be our short O. O sound. Mm -hmm. uh, we have room. Like full. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. So flower is full mm -hmm. versus full. Mm -hmm. So lemon and extend like versus full. Or this example. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll write it down. Full versus full. Yeah. How do you? That's how you say. Yeah. Full. Yeah. Full. Yeah. What a full, right? right? So that would be a long mm -hmm. versus full. Mm -hmm. A glass full of water, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. full, soft. Mm -hmm. What other example? I hope it is clear on I mean, 
Let's say there is one more example from Poodle Room. Mm. Right. Which sound in it is it? Room versus room. So think of it as like room. How do you say? It? I see room. Room. Yeah. So you say it with a long, yeah, right? Ooh, yeah. Which is correct, right? I mean, so this is like for a short two, it's an incorrect example. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time, you know, like I said, we can clarify it with the native speaker and we will know how to ask that in English, right? Okay. We have one, Marcella had said roof. 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 You say roof or roof. I say roof. 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 Yeah. Roof, right? So this will be again like a long O. Yeah. Rude. Again, long O. Yeah. Right? Mm. So we, yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's almost like there's fewer examples in English of this sound, which yeah. is right. Um, because is this something what about put? To put put. Put we did already. Put oh, we did put. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's a Uma, okay. <laughs> Which is correct. Uma is a name. Mm. And Uma. Right. Uma. Mm. Uma. It's not Uma. Right. Uma is like a voice or ID device, if I remember correctly, yeah. right? So I think it's a very good example. Yeah. Uma like versus. Actress, right? Right. Uma right. 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 Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Uma versus Uma. Right. So there's a mm -hmm. long. Right. I hope it is getting clearer. You know, uh, we'll try to, you know, as we, you know, in the next class we'll be done with the all the, you know, vowels and then it will become really like, okay, which one is it? And we can have a fight over it, actually. <laughs> I can't wait. And then it's fun, right? Yeah. No, it's a short one. No, it's a long one. Right? <laughs> all right, so I hope it is clear, right? And uh, now let's look at the characteristics of this O. Mm -hmm. Like, how does it change the underlying uh, consonant? Right? So, Again, imagine that this is your consonant X, and when you put, we haven't learned how to say write O. Okay, so that's <laughs> first important thing. So the way you write it is very simple. Mm -hmm. You have number three, yeah. and you put like a bar on it. Yes. O. And uh, imagine that you have a consonant, mm -hmm. and when you put O in it, can mm -hmm. the target? So there's a tail yeah. on this side. Okay. It's not a waterfall anymore. I always, it's like a it's either a tadpole or a comma. <laughs> okay. Comma on yeah. the like yeah. a flip comma. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's like on the bottom you'll have like a you know, think of it as another tail. But yeah. you know. There's a lot of tails today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So ooh. Yeah. Right. That's how the target state will be. So if my example was the that's my uh, consonant, let's say. So I put O in it, it will be? Let's have people write it down. How will you write it? So let's say the question is, you have L, L sound, which is, let's say, you don't know this is a consonant, but you want to put O in it. What will be the target sound? Okay. Low, which is correct. Low. All right. So let's take a look at the last one, and then we'll open it up for discussion so that yeah. we don't run out of time. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So the next one is, and we already covered a lot of examples of that mm -hmm. as we were right. learning. Yeah. So next one is, ooh. Right. Um. So. Three, mm -hmm. and then in between you are taking one more tail, mm -hmm. and it will be clearer as we go through more and more. If we like, you know, as we yeah. practice more and more. So again, the sound here would be like O. Yeah. Think of it as double O. Mm -hmm. Right. What were some of the? We have a lot of examples for this. Such I as think Marcelo had roof. Roof. At least as we say it in the northeast. Yeah. Uh, boot. Boot. O. 
sound like wood. Some people like wood wood, like when something oh, yeah. happens. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's also wood sound. Right? Pucho? Pucho? Pucho. Pucho. Pucho is to ask. Oh, Pucho. Yeah. Pucho is to ask. Right? So, Again, we're mixing both of them, which is completely fine. Puchna is to ask is the word. So what about my son Winnie the Pooh, right? That's another thing. Oh, yeah. Right? Which is like long poo or short poo? I say poo. Poo. Yes. Shorter one. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the other one. Yeah, correct. <laughs> what other sound do you have? Or do you, we just covered in the previous section that has like long poo in it? Pool, pool, like this pool. Be pool. Okay, pool. What are some of the countries? Uh, Marcella says food. Food. Mm -hmm. That's right. Food. Examples are food. There's oo sound in it. Right. Mm -hmm. Some of the country name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see if we have people to come up with country names. Uh, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. Okay. Uzbekistan. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm. Marcella says that Uruguay. I guess it depends. What about USA? Oh, USA. Right. United. Yeah. You. You. So essentially, when you say you, mm. you say you or you. 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 Right. Hard. Long. Right. So that's. Ooh, yeah. Again. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so those are some of the examples, and then you know I'll probably write down how it changes the mm -hmm. you know the underlying uh, consonant, mm -hmm. and then we'll divide it quickly. Right. So uh, again, the way you write it is like you know you write three, and then there is like a tail, mm -hmm. and uh, if you have a consonant, and if you put o in it. There are many ways, but like the so far in the earlier one, the the, the tail was going on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. This time it will go is this side. Ooh, right. Mm -hmm. So the same example that we did before, the sound was the uh, let's say, mm -hmm. right. It will become roo roo mm -hmm. roo. So room, mm -hmm. uh, so roof, yeah. rooster. All of them will have long who in it. Right? I hope it is, you know, getting clear. We did so far how many vowels? We did six. Six, right? Yeah. Which one? A, mm -hmm. A, E, E, U, and U. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's quickly look at the slide. I have a slide deck as well. Uh, let me make sure that I covered all the examples of U. So this was the short U. Long U is food. Spoon, June. Right? And that's the one which we didn't call it YouTube. Right? <laughs> to that extent, YouTube. Yeah. And, you. yeah. and uh, the tail is on the right hand side. Right? So I hope today's session it's been useful to learn these uh, six vowels. Uh, we'll be able to finish all of them in the next class. Um, I hope you know you'll be able to focus on the sound of all of them just to repeat. Uh, for some people join it late, we did a as in alone. We did a as in arm um, or mango. Okay. We did e, which is it, it or in. We did e. Sounds like cheat, cheat, meat. And feed. Mm. Then we did poo. Mm. Put, put. Yeah. And then. Um, oh, you want another example? More example. Uh, I think you're July. July. Okay. Poo. Mm. And then we did poo, which is pool, June, right? All of them. A um, lot of digest. But uh, <laughs> but I hope it is getting clearer. Um, and I'll open it up for discussion in a minute. But people who are watching online, uh, 
I want this class to be a little bit more formal. So, and I, we know, I know we have shorter time, we don't have that much time, but um, the assignment here is very simple. You know, if you really want to earn a certification, you know, um, very simple. You can, you know, use Twitter and you can follow Hindi University Twitter, uh, you know, have, uh, like, you know, uh, handle. And then write down at least one example for each of them. So I'll write it down. Exercise here is And I'll repeat it again and again so that we can always go back and you know. The exercise here is like to follow in the university. And one example of each vowel. So six of the vowels that we covered in this class. Um, you just have to so that I can track it for properly. You just Send it to me on Hindi University, and you can use Learn Hindi, and then other hashtag you can use as vowel. Mm -hmm. I mean, I will be able to drag this with this, but it's good that if you use both the hashtags, mm -hmm. and then you know, um, there are software available which can help you, like you know, write the you know the script as well. But uh, mm -hmm. if you cannot, I mean, I ideally it would be I would prefer that you use like a and then example, the example would be Alaska or Alo. Um, I'll give you actually one example so that where there is no confusion, right? So a simple example could be that you know you can say that example of that's the ideal way example of who is Uh, July. July. <laughs> think of <laughs> you know, I know that's the one that I was, I, I think is so hard. I uh, know we did we did put. Put. <laughs> we did. No. Uh, do you have a? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. We take the, the longer one in that case. All right. You, Ooh, unique. Unique. Like, yeah. Yeah. Pick a good one. Unique. There's four mm -hmm. there, right? So. I like that one. Right, so you can simple as simple tweeters like this will help me evaluate it. Uh, I'll be able to tell you whether it's right or wrong, you know. But I think this is a good way to sort of make sure that you know. Uh, and not only that, there'll be other people who can also connect it, right? So that way, at least you know, we'll have a, a good way to track it. Any questions? Um, I, you know, I'll stop broadcasting it and we'll open it up for discussion. Um, you know, and if you have any questions, we can answer that.